Microsoft Dynamics SL 2015 continues to enhance the features around our Quick Query module. Quick Query is a great way to find information inside of Dynamics SL. It allows you to add filters on the fly. So if you're looking for specific items in payables, for example, looking for batches that have been released, you can enter that information in the screen and have it automatically show you that information. Now with the quick query, either you're trying to get to an answer to either drill back into the SL screens or to take that data and push it out into Excel. And we still have that functionality here, but we've been enhanced it for SL 2015. We do have the standard feature, which you have now, which grid to Excel takes the data and it puts it off into an Excel document. Now the information in there is available for you to sort and select. And once you have it in there, you can go ahead and start making uh, the presentation the way that you need it, adding charts, making it into whatever you need. But the problem with that data is that that data is static. That's a certain point in time. When you hit that button, ex exported it, that's the information that will be in this report. So the ask is that can we actually make these to have what we call refreshable documents? And we have done that in three different ways. And let's take a look at them. The first is very similar to the copy table called the query table option. It does add a new interface that allows us to choose exactly what we want to export, either all the rows or the ones that we've filtered. Again, along with what to put the what Excel document, the name, the location of the information. And once we click the Create button, and we'll go ahead and create our Excel document, which again looks very similar to the other, but here's the difference. This information is actually refreshable. So this refresh button can be chosen at any time to update the data. So it is not static. It is constantly refreshed as we hit that button. What has it done in the background? Well, it's created a connection for you specifically. So the connection string has your information in it that allows that, yes, you are able to view this information. And it also has the correct string or SQL information to pull that data in. This means that at any time, I don't have to ever export it again. I can just view the, click the refresh all button and it will show me the latest and greatest information. Now, again, yes, that gives you very similar functionality to what we had with a copy to table. Now, some people just said, let's just create a connection for me. You don't need to fill in the Excel document. I'll do that. I'll choose what I want to do. So we have that option as well, where it's just creating that connection for you, which you can see on the screen. It's creating that secure connection as well as the SQL documents. And it's up to you to go ahead and start using the existing connections button to start adding things to this Excel document. And last but not least is our functionality with pivot tables. Pivot tail functionality is built into Excel we allow you to interface with that to get the data out and start creating those pivot tables. We even allow you to start choosing exactly what you'd like to put on your pivot table before you even put it out there. So we can go ahead and choose the values that we'd like, like the customer balance and add it. And then when we go ahead and click create, it automatically creates our Excel pivot table for us. Now we're seeing the standard Excel interface where we can add things like account and other values to the pivot table. Again, the great thing about this, this is completely refreshable, so we can pull it up at any time and know that this is a connected document as well. So those are just a few of the new features that we've added here in Dynamics SL 2015. Connect with your partner today to talk about what are the other great features that have been added in Microsoft Dynamics SL 2015.